Hello Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 7th going to the 13th of August. So let's have a little look together and see what's going on for you for this week. All right. For Leo, please. Thank you. Um, happy birthday to the Leos out there who's celebrating right now. Um, I wanted to say something. Oh, do you guys like my setup? I hope you guys do, because I love it. And my little niece made me, handmade me, a lion. It's crazy. Crazy talent. All right, let's see what's going on for the Leos, please, for this week. Damn, why is that your overall energy? And get you a key word. I feel like overall you're going to feel very blessed. You're going to have a lot of people who are going to support you at this time. Some of you might be making a change. Maybe that's what it is. You might be kind of having to move away from people who... Maybe you're moving, maybe you're having to relocate, maybe you're just having to, maybe you're changing jobs. Like there is an element maybe of leaving people behind who you really love, you know, because of some changes in your life. Maybe that's just what this card is. All right, overall energy or key word, please, for Leo this week. Your discipline. All right, we'll speak about it. Maybe that's just what it is. All right, let's clarify what we're seeing first. Yeah, I kind of feel like whatever it is you're having to walk away from, like, it's okay. Like, you're going to find success outside of this. Um, and it feels like maybe it's for work purposes or whatever. Like, you're having to make some sort of disciplined approach uh, to your life. So even though you might not want to let go of something or take time away from someone... And it feels like it is within your best interest in, in order to grow and to exceed and to evolve. For some of you, if you have been in chaos and conflict at the moment, that um, you're moving away from the successfully. Like, whatever people said about you is not true. All right? That's what I need to say. Um, just keep yourself disciplined. All right? That is your key word after all. So your overall energy in your oracle is blessed. You're going to be feeling very blessed this week. This is my card sometimes of dodging a bullet. So again, if something did not work out in your favor, something fell apart, if you were rejected in any way, just remember that maybe we weren't actually ready for what it was that we were asking for. As you can see here, as much as her wings have grown and, and blossomed, she's still in that cocoon, like that chrysalis, whatever you want to call it. So it's really important to understand that just because you have changed and something has happened, don't go throwing yourself into the fire or in the deep end when you don't really know how to swim, all right? This is like there is an element here of um, feeling blessed that something didn't happen in the time that it needed to, or that you thought it needed to, sorry, all right? Uh, but sometimes blessed is just being above all the chaos of life. I always say that this is the flow of life and feeling quite content with where you are. Um, not quite ready to go in flow just yet. Then we have community. So this is about meeting really incredible people who are here to teach you something. Meeting people who um, are here to give you some messages, some guidance, to inspire you in whatever shape or form, to motivate you, to support you. Um, but again, as you can see on this card, like community is incredible. There'll be a lot of conversations happening around this time, Leo. But you can see these people who are temporary as person. You may be in a hotel, someone may be sleeping in a hotel at the moment, don't know, that was just there. What that represents is the fact that not everyone is here for the long term, and for a long time, but just for a good time. And it's okay for that. Um, they teach us something. As you can see here, it's this little giraffe, which is you, Leo, is being taught something by the older one. So these are people who can give you some sort of support and guidance along your journey, have some significance around it, even if it's just a lesson that they're teaching you, um, for you to, to take that um, that message for forever, you know. Some people might be temporary, but the lessons are for a lifetime. Now, we have a change in the wind coming up after that, so it kind of feels like you're feeling blessed, there is a community around you, and it feels like that flow of life, you're finally ready for it by the end of either this week or by the end of this energy. The energy, one thing to remember about these readings is I'm doing it, hoping that this is going to be for the week, and with, through this week, you will see these energies come up, um, but it's not all going to be, like, outcome is not going to come within this week, not always. Um, energy is fluid, it could be the week after, it could be some energies like this of success and change, this change may initiate this week, uh, but you may not see the results of it for a while or whatever, you see? You see what I'm saying? All right, 
Let's clarify blessed. What is this blessed energy, please? Ten of Pentacles. This could be a windfall of finances coming away, Leo. Uh, maybe you've reached a financial goal or you're at a point where you feel financially stable. If this is in terms of your career, maybe there is some big money coming away or you've been able to make big money. Maybe this is why you just feel blessed. We have the wild card here as well. So that's all about new beginnings, new cycles, um, which is amazing. Anything else for the blessed energy? We have the love is and the two of pentacles. So this actually comes in maybe it is about love. Um, because the love is, is there, but sometimes the love is, is also just about choices, and that's originally what the love is card was, uh, before it was the love is, but we have the two of pentacles here as well, so another indicator that this may be you trying to make a decision with something, but don't lose yourself in this decision, come back to it if you need to come back to it, uh, because th as you can see here, what you don't want to do is be so focused on one thing, for some of you, just a quick message, for some of you, Somebody might be so focused on making money or your career or trying to stabilize your life and you might be neglecting your own emotions or you might be neglecting your relationship or whatever. Somebody else's emotions, so just pay attention to that. Maybe someone's doing that to you, Leo. I'm not quite sure, but that was a message that coming through with that. Um, now, I kind of feel like this big hat represents there being a lot of thoughts going on for you, maybe a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. You are juggling a few things at once at the moment and maybe a relationship along with that too. So but the thing is, these are blessed problems to have, as they say. So I feel like you are on the road to success um, and that good things are, are happening. Maybe a relationship has had some problems or maybe a relationship has not begun yet. For some of you who are single and kind of wanted something from somebody, but... There is some question around that for some reason. As I said, this was a card of like not being in the flow just yet, like the flow of life, like the craziness, moving, doing things where changes happen. So maybe you're just, maybe you are just feeling blessed. You're focusing on money, you're focusing on your relationship. Maybe that's just what it means. Maybe it's not dodging a bullet. Maybe it's just the fact that you're happy with how things are. So community coming in community comes in with the ace of cups you might find if you're single you definitely could be finding love the, the ace of cups is not just love around you it could be a, an emotional offer coming away um it's it's love from people it's support from people it's feeling an abundance of peace around the people that you have around you. So this is amazing um which is very interesting I'm, I'm excited to clarify your first card which is the five of swords um, but it does feel like maybe leaving behind something that you actually don't want to leave behind. That's what it feels like. I will look into that. So yeah, Ace of Cups coming out with communities. There's a lot of love around you, right? Coming from your family or your friends or a love interest, okay? You might be finding some people who, again, are here to, to give you love, to give you support, give you encouragement. The community. The tower card. What's this about? Could be either a surprise. Is the tower here the ball, please? Okay, this, this could be a surprise. Where well, the fortune is a kind of fortune, uh, things moving forward, all right? Some like um, it's, it's Jupiter Road, it's about blessings, okay? So the tower doesn't always have to be bad, it depends on the cards that come through. What it does mean though is a very sudden, fated event. As you can see people falling out the tower that did not expect this to happen. There is divine intervention. Um, this feels like a fated meeting between you and somebody else. The King of Cups comes in with the full card, so this could be a complete new journey, new person that comes along your path here, or your way of being is changing because of the people that you have around you and the love that you're receiving. Maybe something is happening to you on an emotional level. Um, but it does feel like you're taking a leap of faith, though. Maybe you are having to separate from some people to do something. Again, I said that in the beginning, to have this new path, to relocate somewhere or to go away from the family for a bit, whatever it may mean. Like, I just feel like you're on this new adventure and it does mean that maybe something has to kind of fall apart. But there is all love here. It feels good. What's this change in the wind then? Oh, didn't like that, Leo. Change in a wind. Thank you. Yeah, I do see some travel coming up for you guys. This is Sagittarius energy. You're on a venture for more. All right, this is about kind of expanding your horizons and conquering. And it's a card of um, 
experience, wanting to add more experiences into your life, to learn lessons through life. Um, could be traveling to a lot of locations, or that's your plan. A change in the wind coming through, Nine of Swords, Three of Cups, is something worth celebrating, but there is some fears around it um, with, the, with the Knight of Wands. Again, I do believe that there might be some fears surrounding maybe some sort of travel or moving away from a, a community of people. But others of you, you could be having some fears about infidelity, just for some of you, because we have the High Priestess, which is about secrets. Knight of Wands to recover is traditionally, I say traditionally, a lot of people say that this is about like third party situations. So there could be some worries or fears around, around that, infidelity. What is this change in a wind? towards like what is changing three of ones it's about what's coming to your life i think there's a bit of fear of um i think you know that changes are happening maybe because you might be the one kind of invo evoking it causing it but it's almost like you're scared about what's gonna come through some of you could be waiting for a message maybe you're fearful about what's to come like all right, you've put yourself out there, you're in a very vulnerable position, maybe you have changed your job, you have moved, and now you're kind of like scared about what's to come. Three of Wands is a waiting energy. You put the energy out there, you sent, sent, you sent your ships out, Leo, your messengers, you've, you've done what you needed to do. Now you're like, am I actually gonna get a result out of this? Is this actually gonna work out for me? Am I actually gonna be able to celebrate or have I just completely destroyed everything and changed everything for no reason because i do believe you were in a stable point until something changed now i see that again whatever you've changed and walked away from it may have been a very difficult situation and may have brought up events that maybe you didn't expect or maybe arguments or like sadness that you did not expect but the six of wands is about success coming out of something successfully um two of wands I feel like you will achieve what you needed to achieve. Now, two of wands is again focusing on the future. Uh, that does look like uh, a new financial opportunity or new beginning. Maybe you're investing what you've already made or uh, whether you're expanding something here that's coming through for you. Because two of wands is very similar to that knight of wands almost of expanding an adventure. Like you're wanting more. And I think you always will, Leo. But as you're, you're looking at how to expand what it is you've already got. So if you've got a company, I'm seeing that you are adding something to it or expanding it to make more uh, profit or to impact more people. But you are having to let go of a bit of a comfort zone to do that. Maybe invest, you know, what you've made into it. You see what I mean? There's, a, there's an element of risk here, but it's okay. Everything is going to be fine. You do have discipline as your keyword. So this says, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So this is your affirmation. Uh, for the week here, Leo, because you can, and I'm seeing it happen, and in order to get something here, you do have to be disciplined, so we have a man, this could be you, or somebody else, dealings, a relationship with a man, that came out with funnel, all right, period of frustration, lessons to be learned, to do with your wealth, how you're investing it, how you're making it, you have fire coming through, strong emotion, passionate love, or hate, vulture, depression anxiety worry that something is against you so again maybe worrying that things are not going to happen because you've taken a risk is what it feels like you've done something risky taking a chance i think that's why the vulture is coming through i think there's a lot of emotion within you because of what choices you're making or maybe somebody did do something to your finances or, or whatever but you do have obstacles to overcome but i think everything's going to be fine if you ask me that's what the card said you can do anything you set your mind to but this is a very big time in your life of where you're trying to grow and expand and do something new and bravo it takes a lot to do something like that like you should feel very proud of yourself um but because you're doing something risky of course these emotions are going to come up and you are going to feel a little bit anxious or on edge maybe not sleeping much because of your worries but everything will turn out fine i do believe that all right so you have to believe it too all right see well, Leo, I love you guys. I wish you all the best. I hope you guys have an incredible week and happy birthday again to anybody who's celebrating. Well, you are Leo, so anybody who's celebrating this month. Um, and maybe I missed it as, as well. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at saying happy birthday because I kind of forget that everyone, at, at one sign at least, is having a birthday and I always forget. So anyway, <laughs> I wish you all the best. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you haven't, what are you doing, Leo? 
make sure you subscribe so that you can come back here weekly it helps the channel out too um let me know how it resonated with you let me know how you like my background <laughs> and i hope to see you guys next time all right